here at this cabin called Hawk Hill and it's a bunch of cabins that are owned by this family who have um, been in this area for a long time and they have opened up their cabins for us to stay at so I want to just show you around so check out our cute little log cabin it has a kitchen and this kitchen has everything you would need for preparing a meal. This is one of their traditional cabins and it has a fireplace to keep you warm. And the bedroom has two twin beds in one and another two twin beds in the other. And of course, a sauna. It's almost dinner time, so we head into the forest to forage for berries and mushrooms. So I think it is the best plan is that you wake up when you wake up, and after that uh, you go hiking in the forest slowly if you want. If you don't feel like it, then you put sauna on and go swimming and see if you want to go outside after that or read a book. So it's, it's better to kind of disconnect and, and don't have any kind of plan. Do it in order and the way as you wish. And that is that is that is very good for you. Yeah. Eat when you want to eat. Yeah. Eat Walk when, when you, you want to eat. eat. Yeah. <laughs> go sauna when you want to go. It doesn't matter if it's morning or evening. Mm -hmm. you, you can do it in the in the way where you feel like. Maybe that's the secret to uh, finish happiness. Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. This one? No. This one? No. This one? That one. No. This one? <laughs> no. no. I don't know. I'm so glad oh, I'm yeah. here with Un, or else I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Just walking along the paths and through these mossy areas. I just feel so good under your feet. It's soft and bouncy. And we're just looking for mushrooms. You see, there's just the mushrooms everywhere. But you kind of not need to know what kind of mushrooms you're looking for because there are a lot of types that not so easy to prepare or might be poisonous, so definitely get a guide to take you in. Kind of half expecting an elf to come out of the, the forest here. It's magical. We've been successful in finding some dinner, so we're heading back to prepare it by the fireplace. We wake up early the next morning because it's beautiful on the lake. The mist is just hovering on top of the water and we cannot wait to get out on a rowboat. There are currently six cottages at Hawk Hill but they are building more. There's this traditional cottage that was one of the originals built by the grandfather and there are luxury villas such as this one. There is not a more finished way to vacation than to stay at a lakeside cottage here in Nuxio National Park.